Hey everyone, this is Awesome Wakabayashi from the ideas. So welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'd like to show you how to add smart filter for user metadata. Okay, so these are uh, volunteer applicants. So and they are stored in the user database. Okay, and then you can create meta field for user data with Jet Engine. And then uh, so I have this uh, volunteer language preference that's a smart filter. And they have, um, uh, so I create a user meta for language preference. So some people are preferred English or they're bilingual or French. So here I can select, let's say I'm looking for bilingual volunteers and hit the apply filter. And now you can see only bilingual speakers on the list. Okay, so this is easy to do with Jet Engine plugin and a smart filter. So let's dive in. This tutorial, you need Jet Engine plugin and then Jet Smart filters. All right. Um, now, let's go to Jet Engine and then Meta. Okay, so I create a user Meta right here, and I got lots of Meta field for the user. So now let's look for so language preference right here. Okay, and then you need to create a glossary for that. Okay, so let's take a look. Now you need to go to JetNG here, right here, and then you will see glossaries. And I've created glossaries for language preference. Yeah, right here, okay. So, so English, French, bilingual, and other, okay. And let's just go back to Metabox. Use a meta. Language preference. And so make sure you pick the grocery and then make sure you pick the right one. Okay. Now, and let's go to smart filter, old filter here. And I've already created for the volunteer language preference filter. And then, so this is select. Okay. And then data source is jet engine, engine glossary. Okay. And then so, um, so you have to pick which glossary, so which is volunteer language preference, right? So right one. And there's this checkbox better. So I'm using a select filter, so you don't need to uh, enable this, okay? Query variable. So let's go back to Metabox. So under Jet Engine, Metabox, okay? And then this is my user meta. So language preference. So this name ID, you gotta copy this, okay? And then go to smart filter, and then right here, query variable, you're gonna paste onto that, okay? And the comparison operator is equal, okay? And then you can put the label, uh, whatever you like. And the one thing, important thing is you have to do this. So go to smart filter and about settings, so if you're using a select smart filter, so you have to go to under smart filter, and this is, again, so it's settings, okay? And then uh, Ajax request type. So make sure you're selecting uh, prefer Ajax admin, so in the middle one, okay? So make sure you're selecting this option, okay? So otherwise uh, it may not work. Now, so let's go back to um, this listing listing page with smart filter on the left side. So this is just two columns, okay? And then right here, so I got the select filter, okay? So if you go to, so right here, so I'm using this, just drag and drop here, okay? And then uh, let's go to content. So you can just pick which smart filter, okay? So volunteer language preference. Okay, and this filter is for, make sure you pick Jet Engine and apply type, Ajax. And then, uh, so I like to use uh, um, click on apply button, so I just pick that. And then just a show filter label, so this is, you know, it's up to you, I just like to just put the, the label uh, on top of that. And then hit update. And that's it. And then here is the front end page, and let's see if it works. So uh, let's uh, pick the French this time. So now you see a list of volunteer applicants who speaks French. 
and then so maybe speaks other languages hit apply right so you see other right all right so thank you for watching i uh, hope this helped and uh, this approach should work for ccd custom content type too so uh, if you have any question just uh, put a comment in the below section so thank you very much and see you next time